It is finally happening. Gyms are opening after six long months and I'm so excited to go back. So for this week's video, I thought I'm gonna bring you with me and show you a little bit of my workout, how I'm getting fit and getting in shape and also a little bit of what I'm eating. I already changed into my workout clothes. This morning I actually had to get a test so I can even go to the gym. So I'm in my car and I have to get a test to go to the gym. I have never had a test so I'm really scared. I know they can do it through your nose and through your mouth. I have no idea what is less uncomfortable or doesn't hurt. But not gonna lie, I'm so scared. Especially because I've never been there. I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. And oh, I hate situations like that. I'm so scared. Okay, I'm done. It was literally five seconds and she did it in my mouth and it didn't hurt at all. I was so scared. I was like shaking. But I'm so glad they don't have to do this through your nose. Like this was my biggest fear. I'm negative. Yay! No, I'm not vaccinated. The reason for it is just because it's not my turn yet. I signed up but we don't have enough vaccines so... Already had my breakfast, I had some oatmeal. So since the gyms are opening again, I really want to get back on track and not only with working out but also with food and eating healthy. Because let's be honest, I not only did gain a little bit of weight but also I feel like my eating habits, I would say as since Christmas, I haven't been eating as clean as I maybe should or I had a little bit more, you know, chips and fast food than I would usually have so now that the gyms are open no excuses i want to start eating more healthy again and this is my breakfast for today just some oats with strawberries because i love oats i eat oats every single day i still can't believe it that the day is here and that it's actually happening by the way if you're wondering i'm wearing makeup i usually never wear makeup to the gym but since it's the first day and you know i'm a little bit nervous to go back there i want to have that extra confidence boost so i I thought why not put some makeup on also i'm gonna put my hair back obviously who trains with open hair not me because i'm sweating that's also why i never put on makeup sometimes i have my brows or my lashes but i never put anything usually on my face because i do sweat a lot so all of my supplements are from women's best it's not sponsored not anything i buy this with my own money but I just like their supplements I like the taste I think the price is nice I like the packaging it's pink I currently use the chocolate whey protein I was a vanilla obsessed lover switch to the cookie and cream which I absolutely loved even more than vanilla and now I'm on chocolate just because I ordered this for making pancakes but now I'm obsessed with the chocolate flavor and then I'm gonna have my pre-workout which is orange mango dream and then I have my BCAA in fruit food fruit fusion you absolutely don't need supplements to get fit get in shape um but i'm extra and i want it okay so i drink my protein after i'm finished working out so i just fill it up with water when i'm done with my workout at my gym although since i switched gym uh, my new gym has very warm water and i'm not happy about it i hate that pre-workout is always getting so hard i want a lot of pre-workout today and I'm just pouring this into this little bit nasty cup, but I don't have any other right now. And then I'm gonna shake my BCAA because this is a wash. I only have one, so I can't always use it. Just a scoop. Why am I shaking so much? Make sure that the lid is closed before you start shaking. Like really closed. And then shake. And that's how I prep my supplements and get ready for the gym. Pretty much. I don't know why I do this all the time. So these are all my supplements, my protein, my BCAA, my pre-workout and I obviously take a water bottle with me because I need water. I know this is very extra but that's how I like it, okay? Excuse the mess but this is what I'm wearing. Gained a little bit weight here on my belly. I just want to show you my kind of physique, what I'm looking like right now. I also want to lose a little bit more weight on my legs and obviously I need to tone up my booty because since not doing heavy hip thrusts at the gym I noticed that it doesn't look like it looked the year before. Actually I had to pull up my what's in my gym bag video, my own what's in my gym bag video so that I know what I put in my gym bag a year ago because I was like what do I need in my gym bag? Like I don't know and I almost 
forgot my booty band. <laughs> I'm training a leg today because I didn't mention it yet. I just have clothes to change afterwards because I don't want to be in sweaty clothes at all. I have my shoes, obviously. Some deodorant. I have my little pocket here where I put like headphones and my chapstick, my hand sanitizer. I also have my, my barbell pad for doing hip thrusts. Very important because now I don't have to worry about it being taken at my gym because we only had one or two and I was always worried that I don't have one and then it hurts so I have a barbell pad. Also I have my ankle straps because I can't wait to go to the cable machine and do cable kickback. Ki Cable kickbacks because I don't remember the last time I did cable kickbacks and I'm so excited. That's a very quick tour of my gym bag and my supplements and what I'm wearing and now let's go to the gym. Okay, first things first, I need some good music to blast. I actually haven't thought about what I want to listen to, so something very motivating, you know what I mean? No driving without good music, like that's, that's a no. Why even drive if you don't have good music? I'm there! Uh, I mean, I'm at a parking place, still can't believe it. In a few seconds, I can go into the gym. Like, I have my pre-workout, I usually sip on my pre-workout in my car. I love my car time before and after the gym. Like, that's my gym motivation, okay? That's what I look forward to every time. There were only three cars, I hope. I really do hope that the gym... Hi, bird! <laughs> that the gym is that empty so I can film. Also, I didn't mention it before. I don't have a proper gym bag, I just use a regular bag that is huge where I can throw in all of my stuff um, because gym bags are expensive and I was like, I have so many bags at home, so why not use one that I already have instead of spending money again? I'm gonna go in. <gasps> I'm so excited. Like literally done. I started off on the treadmill. It was harder than I thought. Like I did an incline walk and after three minutes I was sweating. I could feel my hamstrings. It was so hard. I don't know why. Usually I did 15 minutes. I did 10 minutes a day because I was like okay do it slow. And after I did like a glute activation, did some exercises and then I started off with hip and they were killing me. I did 40 kg, what I also did before everything closed, so six months ago. Let me tell you, it was hard. I did 12 reps, four sets, and it was hard. I was really, really struggling with hip thrusts, especially with the form, because I haven't done them in six months. So it was like a weird feeling. Then I did some deadlifts. Um, honestly, my back hurts a bit, so... Also, I had struggles with the form. Then I did um, some Bulgarian split squats and some goblet squats. And also from the Bulgarian split squats, my balance, my form, everything is so bad. I feel like a beginner. I was struggling with my split squats. I didn't know what to do. Like my knees hurt a little bit, my back hurt a little bit. And then I finished it off with some cable kickbacks. I didn't film the rest of the workout because it got a little bit busy and I'm too shy. When I did the Bulgarian split squats, I was like, how much weight do I need? <laughs> it was so weird. Like usually I'm so in a routine and today it was more like, I don't know, I was so... I took it slow, I was a little bit confused, I had to get used to the feeling again. I'm curious how tired I'm gonna be in the afternoon if I'm gonna do anything today, like except for, I don't know, laundry maybe and the dishwasher. So all I want to do right now is go home and eat lunch because I'm so hungry. The workout killed me. I need some food. I literally used everything that I ate probably in this week because I'm starving. Honestly, sitting in my car and having my protein shake and just thinking and just looking out of my car window is one of my favorite things ever and I always look forward to this. It's the best ever. 
I'm home and this is my lunch. It looks a little bit more aesthetic than I usually have my lunch, but it's just pretty much rice with tofu and vegetables, broccoli with bell pepper, cucumbers, tomatoes, some carrots, pumpkin seeds and hummus because this week I'm eating vegan and this is my vegan lunch. And next week I'm gonna upload that video where I show you how I made all of these meals. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. And I'm gonna eat that on my couch, honestly. I'm tired, I'm done with the day. Also, I forgot to mention, in the gym it was like, when it got busier, like 98% men, which was a little bit uncomfortable. I always try to remember I'm doing this for me and I don't care about anybody. Focusing on myself and just doing what I want to do, pretty much. Also, I hate how much time it takes, you know, to go to the gym, change, work out, change again. It is time consuming, not gonna lie. But I don't wanna complain because I complained for months about home workouts and now the gyms are back open, so <laughs> shut up. So this is my dinner, vegan bolognese, and I know it is a huge portion, but I am very hungry today because of my workout, so no regrets. And also because it is vegan, it's mainly vegetables and lentils, which means it's not very filling. And I have a huge portion of pasta um, because I like my carbs and I had a phase where I didn't eat a lot of carbs and never again. So, so this is my last meal for today. This is my dessert. I'm having some yogurt with fruit, either frozen or fresh fruit, depends on the season and what I have at home. And I pretty much have this every day. Maybe on the weekends I have some chips or something to snack on. But during the week I try to eat my yogurt. Sometimes I also eat chocolate if I'm really craving one. And right now I'm eating vegan coconut yogurt yogurt because as I mentioned I'm eating vegan this week and honestly I'm obsessed with this. This is so good. I never thought I would like that much. It's all I want to eat. Usually I would eat this here. It is like Greek yogurt but way higher in protein, like way higher. I think the double, at least the double amount and it's super low in fat and low in calories. So very, very healthy, very filling and it tastes amazing. So that's what I usually have, but I think in the future I'm also gonna have this one here. So I hope you enjoyed going to the gym with me today and see a little bit of what I eat to get back into shape. And if you did, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos from me. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. Thank you.